Hey guys, in this video, we'll be going over how to initially set up your software after purchasing and also how to run the Quick Buy bot. So after opening your software for the first time, this is a UI you will see. In the left hand corner here, you'll see the platforms that are currently supported. Below this, you'll see the wallet manager. Here, this is where you can create your tokens. And I'll be going over this in much more detail in a future video. Below that is your wallet section, your settings section, and also uh, your username with your lifetime or rental pass shown below. For this video, we'll be using Pump Fun and we'll be using the Quick Buy Bot here. So the first step is to add a token. Click Add Token and import the contract address here. For this, I'm just going to go to Photon and use a random token and just click uh, Copy Contract Address and import that here. Uh, you can use whatever uh, token you'd like. Just press Add. So that token has now been added under the token section. If you would like to add more tokens, just click the plus icon here, type in that contract address, uh, or paste it, and just press add. And that token will then show up below this. You can also remove a token by clicking the garbage icon on the top right, and this will remove that token from the uh, tokens area here. Now to run the quick buys, uh, let's generate the wallets. To generate the wallets, let's go to the wallet section here. In the wallet section, you want to click uh, pump fund and go to the micro buy section. Um, here you'll be able to generate the wallets. So you can generate wallets on the top right hand corner here, generate wallets, and here you want to input the amount of wallets. So for us, uh, we can do a maximum of 30 for the quick buys, but uh, for this video, let's just keep it to three to keep it simple. We're going to enter that and press save. Uh, those three wallets are shown here. Here is the public key, the private key, and your current Solana balance. Um, it's important you save your private key because if you lose your private key, there's no way of us recovering the Solana you lost. So you can either write this private key down or just export your wallets uh, so those private keys are saved on your computer. So now that the wallets have been generated, before we can distribute the Solana to them, let's go to the settings section. Click settings and here you're going to want to enter your funder wallet key. Your funder wallet is the wallet that is your main wallet from where you're going to be sending your Solana to your generated wallets. So enter that funder wallet key here, um, and then also make sure to enter your RPC URL and your WebSocket URL. These are both very important, um, and if you need help on this, just ask us in Discord, or just read the tips uh, we have here um, on the UI. After doing that, uh, press save, um, and you're ready to send Solana to your generated wallets. Now let's go back to the wallet section and send Solana. So, uh, go back here and just press distribute Solana to wallets. Here you're going to want to add how much Solana you're going to want to send to each individual wallet. So for us, let's just do 0 0.01. Uh, this is your Jito tip. Uh, we recommend keeping it this amount, but you can always uh, change this. Click pump fund and then click uh, volume and just press distribute. The funds have been distributed and they'll show up right here. The funds have now arrived and the UI is automatically updated to show this. Now we're ready, ready to use the quick buy bot. So let's just go back to the pump fund section by on the top left here. And uh, you can see the Solana has now shown up here. Before we can start cli uh, click start, let's go to the settings section and make sure we have the correct settings here. You're going to want to change your minimum maximum amount here. Uh, so this is the maximum amount and the minimum amount you can purchase between uh, for each transaction uh, for your quick buys. So I'll just be doing 0 0.0015 and 0 0.0025. And uh, I'll be setting most of the bitch to 3%. So that's 0 0.03. Uh, this is the priority fee we recommend having, but you can change this uh, to your needs. Uh, but note, uh, your transactions will not go through if this amount is too low. Um, for delays, uh, this is up to you, but I like to do at least three seconds. We also have an option here called Jiro, and this is if uh, you're using a large amount of Solana uh, for each minimum maximum buy, or if you'd like your uh, Solana to always go through and each transaction to always go through on the chain, just click this on. You will be paying an additional fee here, but this will make sure that almost 100% of your transactions go through. So uh, if that's something you need, there's an option here for that. Just make sure to click the nearest location to you here, and then your tip, and just press save. But for this video, we'll be just using the normal bot without Cheeto. So just click that off and press save. Now we're ready to use the quick buys. So let's just click start. 
And the first thing you'll notice is the transaction count starts right away. This counts how many transactions you're going to be sending to the Solana blockchain. And here you'll be seeing your holdings update in live. So as the transactions come through, these holdings will uh, increase, showing how much Solana you hold in the token. This can also be seen on Photon as the transactions start appearing here um, for each uh, quick buy. So uh, when you want to stop the bot, you just go back, click stop, and the bot has now been stopped. You just see, you can see your holdings here uh, updated to the amount of soul you hold in, um, in that token. And uh, you can now sell those uh, holdings uh, via the individual sell or the sell all function. A quick thing I also want to show you guys is uh, these percentages can be changed uh, in the settings section. So if you want to change this, let's say 30%, just go to your settings section. You can change this to 30 uh, and just press save. And now if you go back to your pump fund uh, quick buys, you can see in the sell, sell section here, the, uh, those have been changed to 30%. A quick note, uh, for the sell all function, uh, it's required you also use Jito. So if you want to do a sell all, just turn on your Jito here, um, like that, and set it to your nearest location, just press save. Now, so e for each individual wallet, I can either do a sell all, or I can do an individual sell. But for this video, I'm just going to do a sell all just to keep it simple. So make sure Jito's on, press save, and then just click sell all. As soon as your tokens have sold, you'll get a notification here, and you can also verify this on Photon. So the tokens have all been sold. Let's go to Photon. You can see all three wallets have been sold uh, on Photon. And if you go back, those token balances have been updated here. Uh, now, if we go back to the wallet section, you can see this the Solana balance will update in just a second. As you can see, the Solana balance has now been updated.